All right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 32 Character Streak. We're on to streak number seven. We're playing as Judas, and the game crashes. That's really scary because if I can't launch the game, then that'll count as the streak ending, which is... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to... If, if I have to hit continue, I'll... Like, okay, basically, we'll see whether or not this goes up. I'm going to keep talking because I might have to upload this, but obviously, if there's no continue option, there is. Please continue. Okay, I'm sorry about that scare there. Uh, I just thought maybe the game would keep crashing whenever I loaded. Uh, I wasn't too happy for a second. Uh, basically, we got to be super careful. All we have to do is get one soul heart or get a health upgrade, and then we'll be fine. But before then... We're kind of in this really scary spot where life is bad. Luckily, we have a dime, a shop, and a tinted rock with no bomb. We could buy the sack, which I'm going to do. Got two bombs. Because this is literally the scariest part of the run right here when we have one HP. And that's over. I will take it. Typically, you want to save the soul heart for after the floor. No, like, I'm fine. <laughs> like, I'm all set. I don't want to risk losing the streak because like a singular champion or something hits me or I like get stomped on by a random bomb foot from a high priestess card I accidentally used. I don't want anything along the... Where is safe? Is here safe? I don't know where is safe. We're gonna try going over there and standing. Okay, that room was a bit uh, a bit whack. That was a bit un unsafe for us, but we're still living. I think now that we're past the scary part, as long as we as long as we don't take much damage, we're getting a health upgrade. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay as long as we get a couple good items on top of that. Obviously, we can't beat the game with base stats because we're not very good at the game. But little Chad isn't actually that bad. I don't mind him. Uh, it'll drop a lot of health over time. I was so convinced that was going to be the, like I was 100% sold that was going to be the secret room. But I guess it's over here, which is fine. I mean, I did only want it to be there so we could access the curse room but i guess we're not going now which is also okay but anyway uh question of the day i know you're thinking oh he probably has a question of the day uh no no i do not i never you know that's you know i never do uh, and i never will so i think i might have already asked this but if i haven't this is perfect uh what's your favorite character in the binding of isaac i'm pretty sure i've asked this question we're getting to the repeat point of questions where uh until i open the community discord where you guys tell me what questions to ask i'm never gonna know what to ask because i'm basically not very smart uh so you know there'll be a few repeats here and there uh just expect it be ready for it i'm not like i said i'm not very uh good at coming up with the questions i try them we try to keep them semi-consistent we'd like to have them every episode i think i might have missed like one episode but that's it which isn't bad this was like such a mediocre first floor the only we didn't get any stat increases at all like not health not damage the only stat increase we got was da uh, not damage i keep just said not damage uh the only stat increase we got was range and tier size i guess is technically a stat but like it is one of the least important stats in the game and there's our first hit which we really did not want yet because even though like even though we're kind of okay in terms of like health because we have the half heart we would much rather have uh two hearts than one and a half because okay i don't know how we want to handle this first of all this guy's gonna go just because i see him causing me issues break this side yeah we, we just don't want one and a half because to be honest uh, i don't like the idea of being two it's away from death and obviously like theoretically it's three but champions and i guess technically champions would have affected us before too money equals power though is a huge get the streak has been super lucky thus far, so I'm hoping that luck continues into this run, which I honestly think it will, but we can't just uh, assume it will. We have to kind of just hope. So we have money equals power, but two shop items we really want. So if we get a bomb, we'll bomb the nation machine and see what happens. I would like to uh, blow this up and have the thing just come down, but that doesn't actually work at all. It just always flies to the side. And it feels like the kind of room where you look at it and go, wow, this is such, like, this is, like, actually kind of fun room design. And then it just doesn't work at all, and then you get sad. Uh, but it's okay. Oh, why did I, why did I even risk that? There goes our deal with the devil. I mean, I saw that button and then realized what I was doing when I stepped on it. So we really got to hope for an easy boss, which we both did and did not get. If we can keep this boss from 
doing the hard part, which we cannot. This is going to be a focus time. Okay, that's over. This boss can really suck if uh, you let it do that too many times. Or if during this phase you let both of them stay alive. I would recommend, high, like I highly recommend just targeting one there. Letting two be alive is horrible. We missed our deal with the devil, which really sucks. We definitely wanted that. This is the uh, this is the kind of series where you try to get whatever like everything you can. Also, I think it's hilarious because turns out we're not going to get either of the shop items at all, and we're going to lose a bone heart and accidentally press the mute button like twice in a row because I don't play on keyboard. Um, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Just seeing the freaking spiders jump directly on top of my face. That was that was a really good, it's a really good room design game. I'm glad that uh. I'm glad that the game loves us so much. This run is off to... We have money equals power. It's just we're missing a lot. And it's and a big part of it is due to our own poor plays. But at the same time, uh, the game is making it very easy to play poorly right now. I don't want to lose on the Judas episode. Judas, I do think, is a fairly hard character just because of uh, the starting HP. And, you know, you would hope to get an HP upgrade early. But the one we got was a Bone Heart. And... We're just, like, there are some hits you'll you'll look at and go, yeah, I'm dumb. And then there's some hits you'll look at and go, mm, that was kind of dumb. That one, the one we just took, that was that was kind of dumb. Uh, we kind of ran where we could, when we could, and it just wasn't enough. So, I wasn't a big fan of that. Our damage is okay right now, but damn, we need more health. Like, we, our health is just not in a good spot. We need the game to give us an actual health upgrade or start giving us more soul hearts. Because we need to be in a comfortable spot because when I'm uncomfortable, I play worse. So we need to get a little bit more comfortable. We don't need to be in like the best spot ever, but like three or four hearts is all I'm asking for. So, you know, like starting health, basically, that's all I want. I want to be at a point where I'm looking at things, thank you, and going, wow, this is normal and not, wow, this is awful. But we're definitely, uh, we're definitely on our way there, I would say. Not looking, not looking horrible. Anyway, maybe I just got to stop talking about the game because... Oh, left or right. I wish chat was here. They always pick the right answer. Like, they probably would have said right, and I would have gotten something a lot better than the fucking poop. But no. Instead, we're going to get the poop, which I'm just ecstatic about, really. Just an item that actually does nothing for us whatsoever is exactly what I was asking for. So, thank you, game. Really appreciate it. Okay, I actually didn't want to kill him, but this is fine. Yeah, I think it's about time we stop talking about the game. Dude, I can't stop hitting that mute button. It's driving me crazy. Oh, that's the game, but still. I don't play on keyboard because I have a 60% keyboard. So I don't have arrow keys. So the best keys I can play with are right above the mute button. Could I disable the mute button? Maybe, but I haven't checked. And I hate it, and I think it's really stupid. I don't even know why there's a mute button that specifically targets only the music. Like, listen. It's just it's just music. I don't know why they did that. We're also going to bomb uh, this for money. That's not, a, that's not a donation machine. I mean, that was still a good amount of money. And I'm not awfully sad about it, but uh, I really thought that was a donation machine because I didn't actually uh, look at it. I just kind of said, hey, donation machines go up there. And then it wasn't one, which does make me sad. We're also, I don't think we're going to go to the alt dimension. I mean, like we could. We're definitely not doing mother this episode. We've done mother a lot in the streak, so I don't really care about the alt dimension. The extra boss item would be good, though. We need the health, but it's also wormwood. And I'm not a huge fan of wormwood. Wormwood can really suck, but we'll have 9.8 damage with light for Wormwood. It's not, if we get any sort of stat up that's not health from this, uh, we'll definitely do it. If not, we'll have to think about it, because we need health. He just knows how to do it so perfectly to cut off every path you can possibly walk in your entire existence. Um, yeah, we need health, so if we don't get health, we'll definitely do it. We didn't get health, we're gonna do it. Uh, also, we're gonna skip our devil deal. I'm not taking a blind devil deal right now. That doesn't that doesn't scream proper course of action, if you know what I mean. Like that just seems like the wrong idea. Also, I feel like we've been going to a uh, lot of secret rooms and not okay, that's pretty nice. And not getting a lot of uh not getting a lot of secret room items this streak. Like, I feel like we're always in and out of secret rooms 24-7. That's not white fires. Where are they? But even though we're looking for like most of our seagrams in this streak, we're just getting uh, completely gypped when it comes to them. Now we're gonna go to the Kershim, even though that's like the most dangerous decision in the world. We're safe for now. Still safe. Still safe. 
Unsafe, unsafe. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, Bob's curse is actually really solid. The damage done by the bombs is super huge. So definitely a fan that we got for free. Plus, just having five bombs is a lot better than not having it. It'll make me a lot less scared of the Wormwood fight, especially because we can kind of just bomb him and not be scared. And not being scared for a boss fight definitely helps get not hit, you know? Not get hit is probably the better way to word that, but still. Uh, I feel like if you're fearing the boss, you're just more likely to kind of whiff and throw. Okay, speaking of whiffing and throwing, let's not do that right now. This is our 32 character streak. This is our like seventh win. Let's not lose to a couple farting dudes and a fly. That would have been... Oh, that would have been the saddest way to go out. Why are we even doing this again? Oh, I guess we kind of want the boss item. We're doing this just because we kind of want a boss item. Oh, I don't like it. Listen, I get scared. This streak, I was not going to care about it at first. And then I started, like, actually doing okay and getting a few wins. And then I was like, damn, now I don't want to lose. So now I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to risk my life too much. I, you know, honestly, I feel like I used that key to save my life, so I'm okay with using it. And look, we got rewarded. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, but I feel like uh, I feel like everything's just so scary on this streak. We'll use this. Perfect. That was terrifying. I saw me standing in the cloud, and I was like, no, this is the end of my life. Cool. Ooh, I just don't want to lose the streak. I really don't. Um, but, oh, did I even mention this? I don't think I started talking about this yet. I was gonna. I just never did. Uh, so I started watching a show recently. Uh... Lost in Space. I've been talking about it for the past few episodes, sort of keeping people updated, you know, as you do. Just informing you guys about the show that is Lost in Space. Uh, so, new update on it. I am currently two seasons into it. I'm trying to, like, get him in the poison with his tail. Currently two seasons into it. I just finished the second season. And they're dropping some bombshells that I'm, like, not sure I'm happy about. I really like the show. But until, like, I need to figure out where the, what direction it's going, because the ending of season two, it was technically good, but it brought up a plot point that I, like, wasn't the biggest fan of, and that's just me because of how I am with TV shows. But I'm hoping they end up doing something good with it, because the show's been really good so far. So two seasons in, I don't expect it to just all of a sudden get bad. But this floor has been uh, huge for us. Like, realistically, we could turn into the Lost and go grab a couple more things. It will be the lost next floor. That doesn't really bother me. We get these bombs out of it, and uh, I wish we'd we we to reel the poop, but and a lot of money, and money is damage, so we'll definitely take it. Do we get two counterfeit pennies? Is this like a guarantee, please? No, okay. We're just rich now. Yeah, our base damage is over 10, and we're just getting to the caves. Ooh, I gotta know. Okay, so you can take the Elzadel for free when you're under the Lost Curse. I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. And we're living. Great. So that's uh, actually really good for us. Bloody Gust is pretty solid. We do have actual health now. So taking damage is, like, fine. We'll also use our uh, Lost to get in here and get a Guppy piece, which is Guppy's eye, which is huge. Which grants also a speed up and a paralysis doesn't even matter. So speed up Guppy's eye. We're one-third Guppy. We got Bloody Lust. We're still all the spooky lost ghosts, though, so don't die right now. Should be over. Great. Nothing to be scared of. We have an actual good build going. This has been how the entire streak has been thus far. It's like every episode... This has been the scariest episode, I would say. I think we had one more scary episode, but I can't remember what it was, so I'm just going to say it wasn't that scary. But this has been, like... Just the fact that we started with such low HP because we were Judas made this scary, and... I mean, that's fine, because it's, it's done now, right? We, we're past the scary part. A, we already have 10.6 damage. B, we have good health. We have an active item that'll raise our damage more. We just blew up this dude. And there's an actual secret rock. Like, there's just so much going on. Our health is great. That's adrenaline, which... I mean, that, you know, that could have been better, right? I'm not going to lie. But Bloody Gust is genuinely probably my favorite of, uh, of, like, that tier of items, if you know what I mean. Like... All the ones that are like, get hit, Lusty Blood, Bloody Gust, Bloody Lust, those kind of items, right? I'd say that's a, like, Bloody Gust is my favorite just because, I don't know, I really like a high tier rate. And it's like a lot of tiers when you uh, really get it going. I actually really think my secret room is to the left twice than down. It just looks right. Like, well, no, it looks wrong, but it feels right. Because usually the, uh, the one with four, yeah, okay. Usually the one with four things surrounding it aren't secret rooms just because there's a lot of things that could go wrong and stop that from happening. But I don't know. I just felt it. 
right? It just felt like it was going to be right. Maybe we go beast this run. That's an option. Now, if we're going beast, we'd have to full start full clear again, like really min max. But right now we have 14 damage and we'll be able to use book of uh, Belial at least twice on the beast fight. Once before we fight the horsemen and then once after we kill three of them. So we would definitely have some options towards the beast. I don't think it would be a bad call. Be a kind of quick victory. Because so yesterday I kind of was a bit lazy and didn't record a lot. So I'm, a, I'm not technically behind, but I'm almost caught up with my videos now. And I like to be ahead. So I'm, today's going to be a busy recording day. So going to the beast wouldn't actually be... Oh, that's just fantastic. Going to the beast wouldn't be a bad thing for me because if I beat him then I get, like, I get to be done a little sooner and have more time to record things. So I think I'd be okay with that. We're definitely debating the beast path right now because I also wouldn't mind just having it in this streak, having a uh, beast kill in there because we have a mother kill now, I believe. Yeah, we went mother last run. Sorry about that. I actually hit P. That's not even, like, a thing. I was trying to hit a different button, and then my fingers were like, nah, like, you know, the P button, it's it's looking pretty good. Why don't we, why don't we go talk to the P button? That sounds good. But... Yeah, we went to Mother. Mother was fine. I mean, I don't think Mother is difficult. Well, I don't think Mother is too difficult. I think the Mother path is difficult. You know, like, getting to her, super hard. Once you're there, it's like, eh, man, it's, it's not that bad. What is this? Be good. Eh, good enough. Okay. We didn't really gain much out of that, but uh, it was still probably worth two, two keys, just so I'm not eternally thinking about this for the rest of my life and being sad about it. Now we know. But the money equals power was definitely a huge get. I think, I don't think money equals power is like nearly as good as it used to be. Well, I mean, I know it's not, it got nerfed, but like, think about it, right? We're on 99 cents right now, which is usually kind of hard to get through. We've just been absurdly lucky, um, but we're on 99 cents right now. And we're like, we're, we have really, we have solid damage. It's not gonna, it's not game breaking, but it's really solid. Um, but we have to be on 99 cents and never spend anything ever to keep it this way. Money equals power before was like, you could just be on whatever money you want. You were getting a notable damage increase. At least that's how it felt. Maybe I'm misremembering the good old days, but that's how it felt. It felt like you could be at like 20 cents and be absolutely chilling for damage. Not like, not like you're going to be on 20 damage at 20 cents, but you know what I mean. It was just like a lot better at even such a low number. Now, I mean, I would definitely say it's more balanced now. Because I think what they did was make damage uh, harder to not necessarily get, but harder to get a ton of from one item. And that's like, I, you really can't complain, right? Like, that's completely fair. Uh, it's hard to be angry at that. Okay, so the plan here is to get, uh, the, the plan here is to get Birthright. And also, we'll just quickly grab this for Bookworm. I think it's worth our, uh, I think it's worth our one key. We'll find another one or we won't. Realistically, it's as simple as that. But yeah, we'll look for birthright. Cause if we can have birthright, we would actually have uh, Lemegidin, not Lemeg, not Lemegidin, Book of Virtues, Book of Belial, both inside of each other, and another book. We could do a triple book synergy, and I think it would be fantastic. I've obviously done a lot of them just from recording videos, uh, but never done one in an actual run. It's all been my synergy videos, so I would, uh, I would love to have that. I've never even had Judas's birthright. Then again, I don't think I have played judas since judas's birthright came out if we're being honest i'm like 90 percent certain that's just something i never got around to because i've been going for dead god for a fat minute and yeah we're taking the damage to raise our fire rate just to make the floor a little easier we're not actually taking the damage it's all intentional you know uh definitely needed but yeah i I'm, i have dead god to get and i haven't finished every single thing for the a side character so i'm just currently working on tainted side so I haven't really played anything. Okay. Um, no way we get... Uh, okay, that, that's all the damage we're sacrificing to this. I don't know why we're doing it. We want Birthright, but I don't see a way we're getting Birthright this floor. I don't think it can be in item rooms. Euchre Mycosis is still good. I mean, it sucks to not have Birthright, but like, how are you going to complain about not getting an, like one specific item when this run's already so good? So I'm happy in general. We got Book of uh, Virtues, which is really good. And now it's just like going to slightly increase our Book of Belial performance, right? So no reason to complain about that. On top of that, getting restock is... I mean, it could be good if next floor we get uh, a shop without greed. Then restock could be good because maybe we could play a little. Uh, get Like maybe we have a... Hear, hear me out, right? It's a big call. But maybe we have a shopkeeper 
that spawns a greed fight, and that greed fight spawns steam sale. Why can't we just get steam sale directly? It'd be too easy. That greed fight spawns steam sale, and then the steam sale... Wait, no, there's... Oh, there's two. Who would have saw it coming? So there's actually a two, and we'll get two steam sales, which won't make everything free, but really cheap, and then we'll buy items till we get birthright. I'm not saying, like, I'm predicting the future perfectly here, but I do know for 100% that is exactly what's going to happen. So uh, take that how you will, but, uh, you know... Just a bit of a god. We've we've already got it all figured out. And I also think the Seagram's probably up from here. Hey, it's still possible. Like I said, dude, there's a... Why would you do that? There's two Book of Secrets. I should have touched the Book of Secrets. If I had just touched the Book of Secrets... Ugh. Get another Seagram item that's just completely useless, which is a little upsetting. Like, I feel like we've gotten... Every every secret item we've gotten on the streak has been like actually just bad. Like there's been no upside. Um, we will break these and press the buttons just because I want to maybe spawn some pickups to reroll. Uh, and the only way I see possible doing that is by pressing the buttons and breaking the pots. So we're not going to take the damage for it. It's not worth using a D20 once for taking a heart of damage. I don't think we can reroll troll bomb, so we just leave. Okay, that wasn't a uh, horrible floor for us. We got some good stuffs, right? Mucromycosis is really good. Restock could be really powerful next floor. However, we did lose a lot of money in the form of damage. Wait, damage in the form of money? There we go. Uh, which does suck. So we're going to need to sort that out by getting back up to 99 cents. Our damage just... You can you can feel it, right? It just feels a little bit worse. And we need to fix that because uh, I ain't having it. I don't like when things get worse in an Isaac run. You typically want them to get better. But this boss usually sucks, but Mucromycosis should make it a little easier because we can kind of just attack him. And apparently uh, they would stick to him at the beginning, but not anymore. Okay, he's done. It's just easy. Haven't gotten a deal of like 13 million floors, by the way. I just thought I'd throw that out there in case you were thinking, hey, it's possible to get devil deals. No, no, it's not. Uh, we'll just head to the next floor. I think I do want to do beast. I feel, I feel capable of my ability to do beast this run. So we're going to go. We're going to do beast. I wish we skipped some earlier, uh, ooh, that's kind of like, that'd be worth a key if we had one. Okay, you know what, this, this is just, this is just a very easy deal. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think Beast is definitely possible. Let's just, we'll check our range in a second. I know we have a stat, I just don't know what's good for a range stat. I think, keep in mind, as we, uh, take the average, our tier rate will go up, so I'm not worried about our tier rate. Eh, our range kind of does suck, and that could genuinely really hurt us for a, uh, hurt us for a beast fight and it's not like bloody gust improves your range or anything so we're just okay uh we're at this point intentionally taking them for some reason beast is a huge question mark if we can fill ourselves back up on health and get just like a like just get a little bit better of a run then we'll go to beast uh we don't have the ability to take an item from boss rush which does suck because to be honest that'd probably be really good right about now we're, we're just missing like a few things to make this run go from like pretty okay to like really good so because right now we have damage but we don't have anything making that damage really tick you know it's just the straight up tiers at their tier eight so we want just a little bit more and we got a little bit more damage too here which is good come on Thank you. Okay, we're almost we're nearing 99 cents again. We're at 81. Not perfect. Not horrible. Uh, we want just like 10 more. So once we're in the 90s, I don't care about getting all the way to 99. So I'm just hoping for like 10 more cents soon. D6 is so much better than Book of Belial. So much better. We can even we can even go for a uh, birthright a little more. Uh. Uh, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Okay. We lost a lot of damage there. Okay, we bought a key, which means he... Okay, we're not gonna buy a 24-cent battery. We lost a lot of damage there. Um, however, I'm okay with it. It's damage will earn back. We got a lot of, uh... We got a lot of freaking what's it called? Pew-pews back. Then... <laughs> oh, AAA battery is really good. Uh, we got a lot of, uh, wisps back. There we go. So even though we, mm, you know, kind of wanted the damage. So even though we spent a lot of money, I think it's honestly kind of for the best. So what we need now is another charge. I think Birthright could genuinely be 
super good here. I don't. I also don't know though. Maybe birthright isn't the right call. Maybe we should just try to get a charge for. Uh, just try to get a charge for the boss fight because birthright's like really good, and birthright Lemageddon can lead to some really good synergies. But also, we're so close to the end of the run that I'm not sure it matters if we get birthright. Like it would definitely be better to re-roll our angel deal, assuming we get one, which is. It's a big assumption. The game hasn't really been giving us a lot of angel deals this run. And I think we've been earning them. I don't think we've taken red heart damage since like the really early floors. But we've also gotten no angel deals, right? I don't think we've gotten one yet. This is our first guaranteed deal that wasn't the devil deal. So I don't think we've actually managed to get an angel deal yet, which is hilarious. And if we have, oops, I forgot. But we're on depths too without an angel deal. Yikes, I think we blew one deal ourselves. We blew one deal by taking red heart damage, possibly two, but I remember one. Uh, so we blew the one deal, and because of that, we're just like kind of screwed for life, it seems, which is a little unfortunate. You're good, yeah, that's honestly, that's just such a good joke. I really like that. Um, I'm really, I'm just a fan of what you did there. I was like, ooh, a golden penny. We can make up for all that damage we lost, and then immediately, immediately it teleports to a spot I can't grab it. It was the same thing as having just one penny. It was really great. Was a, that was a nice retextured regular penny. Oh, uh, anyway, that was still dumb. Ooh, almost took damage. I think we're done on the floor. I really do. I think there's nothing else to do except fight the boss and then hopefully get a angel deal. I know, I know we're like guaranteed a deal, but there's a good chance it's a devil deal, and I do not want that. Also, I just realized uh, I didn't grab a full card, so. The, the B stream is kind of over, but if we're being real, I thought it was over anyway. I kind of didn't want to do it once uh, our stats hadn't increased in like 10 years. The soul is really good. We're going to reroll it. Immaculate Conception is not really good. So we're going to fight this guy. Why? Because I don't know what the Wisp dice do, and maybe breaking them will reroll something. No, okay, it doesn't. I was hoping. I, I feel like it was a good idea. It was like a decent thought, right? They're, they're wisps that are shaped like dice. You think maybe uh, losing them would re-roll, but no. So we're just here. We're going to leave now. Unfortunate, really. Uh, whatever. We have this Emperor card for either Womb 2 or... Uh, by the way, we definitely would have been better off with the Soul. I know that. Uh, let's just ignore it, right? Ooh, uh, we're going to use Emperor card either on the Womb 2 or Cathedral. I want to use it on Cathedral, but there's a good chance I get impatient, like always. And then I use it on the Womb 2. That's kind of just how these things go. You want to use it in the right spot, but then some stuff happens. You get impatient. It's a floor early. You're like, eh, it's good enough, and then you use it. Like, womb two. If we're on womb two and it feels like it's taking, like, 12 years, odds are I'm going I'm to use it, right? It's just how it be. Golden Penny could be huge, or it could be nothing. That's nothing, unfortunate. Why'd I still open it? Just to prove it was nothing, basically. We do have a Golden Penny, though. Actual damage for a change. Unlike some golden pennies that just decide to like teleport to the ether realm and leave us forever. Those ones aren't my favorite. I'll use a bomb to get you. I don't care if you're a singular penny at this point. I don't think you're escaping me that easy. Let's see. One, two, three. Three cents for a bomb. Wasn't the best bomb in my life, but we are back up to 11 damage, which is like fairly solid. We're definitely in like a winnable state right now, but I would prefer if the run was in just a slightly better position. You know what I mean? Like it's not in a bad position it's just kind of if we have to fight lamb like this we won't be doing too great you know what i mean we're, we're in that kind of position and i that's not a position i like to be in i want to be certain of my victories uh and right now i am anything but i feel like i mean i'm fairly confident i'm just not a hundred percent certain right even it's hard to be a hundred percent certain in isaac you never know what's going to happen because like if TM, if TM Trainer comes up, I'm probably going to pick it. And if I pick up TM Trainer, it's probably going to get me killed, as it always does to me. So, like, in, it's hard to be 100% confident in a victory when you play like I do. But, like, I like to be in the 90s of confidence. Um, that would be such a huge thing if I could fly, but I'm not going to waste two soul hearts to cross the spikes in back. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone, there's some mod to take those out of the game, right? Because uh, I kind of want to. I think... Excuse me? Ex actually, excuse me? Are you kidding me? He jumps and lands right here, and then somehow his creep ends up teleporting up there, too. Oh, boy. Those enemies need to not exist. Like, those enemies are genuinely really bad. They're not even close to fun. They're not close to uh, a good enemy or smart design. They're just 
poorly designed and not well thought out in my opinion. An enemy that goes underground and you can't tell where it's going at all and will just appear randomly and it's not supposed to quote unquote appear beneath you but like it can appear right next to you and you will have no way to know until you are walking inside of it. So not a fan. I don't think anyone's a fan to be honest but I'm definitely not a fan. We got Eye of Belial, I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's it's a pretty fine item. It's not like busted or anything, but I figured if I rerolled, I would have gotten something like Brother Bobby, so I decided not to reroll. I know rerolling in there would have been another Devil Deal item, but that didn't seem like the uh, type of risk I wanted to take. Dude, who designs these uh, enemies? Which Who's the enemy designer for Isaac? Because I don't like them very much. Uh, there are certain enemies that make the game, in my opinion, genuinely less fun just because of how they're designed. That's hosts because literally all hosts do is slow rooms down. They just make it so you're standing there waiting. And any enemy that makes it so you have to stop playing and wait for them, it's like not a good enemy in my opinion. If you have to actively stop what you're doing and just go, okay, I'm going to go make a sandwich and wait for you to come back up. It's, it's not good. Like, it's not good. Uh, it could be good, theoretically. It's just not, though. Uh, we could use a Satanic Bible or something. Nah. Nah. I don't even know why we would want a Satanic Bible, to be honest. I wish I touched all those uh, books before, but I definitely did not. What we're going to do is attempt to reroll the library like one more time. Mm, I don't know. We definitely can't do it one more time. That's pushing it. We need our, uh, need our D6 for the potential devil deal. We can't just forget about that. So, I think the odds that we have enough to reroll two more times, not very high. So, we're just going to go for the Devil Deal and get out. It's kind of unfortunate because I would like to reroll the library. And I think if I had picked up all six books that first time, we would be more... We would want to reroll the library more. But we only picked up, like, two of them. Three of them because Book of Secrets. So, it just didn't seem worth it. If we, could, if we knew for a fact that that would become a item room we would do it but we don't so we're not gonna try because we're cowards and we give up easily this is uh terrifying oh thank god for you thank god i love when the eyes spawn on the same side as you and don't make you do the entire journey back it's always my favorite kind of eyeball and i like a lot of eyeballs but that right there that is the number one eye okay who's shooting at me that isn't that, that was like a weird ti i wasn't ready for that all right easy we could go to old Hushy. We didn't get the devil deal because why on earth would we get the devil deal? Um, that's so dumb. I think we could go to Hush. I think we're going to go to uh, Hush. No, that just seems like an unnecessary risk. We'll just go straight to Isaac. He's taking the Emperor card. Yeah, I think we got like a total of one angel deal that run. So thank you, Isaac Gods, for really helping. Overall, this run was kind of... It's going to be one of the least memorable runs in this streak, I feel. It is just, unless we die, then it'll be the most memorable run. So, in fact, I'm going to shut up for probably this entire boss fight. Because I'm not great at the Isaac fight. I don't think we've had, like, an actual focus time in the streak yet. Not one that lasted more than half a second, but this is focus time. Okay. We're into the much easier phase of Isaac because, for some reason, they decided to make his final phase the easy phase which still doesn't make sense in my eyes but like in comparison to the first two phases i'm not saying the final phase is easy especially with puff baby screwing everything what the hell was that especially with puff baby screwing everything up last phase is not necessarily easy but it's much easier we're not on great health we're gonna need some uh we're gonna need some love from those four chest chests or we're in actual trouble okay four hearts again i feel less scared now Please love me, Isaac, because I, I need it right now. Like, really badly. I mean... What we do is we take Halo. I'm gonna pass... Okay. I'm gonna pass on Scorpio again. I'm sorry, guys. Okay? It it's just... It's okay, but that's it. So, I think... Nothing here, right? Nothing I want. Okay. We just have to hope for six rooms that aren't uh horrible and then we'll be fine that room was pretty bad to be honest when we were just in too many of the exact enemies i hate but we made it through once we charge our d6 i'm guaranteeing you the three items we get are all going to be like run winners in that room uh this room can kind of suck ass because pride is super annoying 
Yeah, I don't blame myself for that. Pride is such an asshole. Uh, we don't we don't really have the damage to be completely melting things right now. Once again, this run is not memorable. It is just average. As long as we don't lose, no one's going to remember this run in like uh, even a couple weeks. They'll be like, uh, wait, how did the Judas run go again? Wasn't that the one where he uh, didn't die? And I'd be like, yep, I didn't die. Also, we're definitely intentionally taking damage right now. It's just to get a uh, bloody gust charged up so we can have a little bit better stats. Because our, our tier rate before bloody lust proc in Capricorn is huge. Our tier 8 before Bloody Lust procking is actually garbage, so, you know, getting it higher is probably a good thing. We're up to 5.23 right now. Our DPS, look at it, it's greatly improved. Still kind of trashy, but greatly improved. And we're one room away. No, actually, this is the final room, because we have AAA battery, so we can re-roll now and hope for something good. I think we'll, like, I think we'll live without, uh, without any more items. I just don't think it'll be fun. We're going to keep the D6. I will pop the Book of Revs once, obviously, but we're going to keep the D6. I don't think there's a point in uh, carrying Book of Revs. Our HP is looking fine, and I feel like there's just better stuff we can get with D6 than uh, a few more Soul Hearts. Please be my uh, <laughs> Arky. Nope. That could have been. If that was an Arky, I would have uh, I would have used the D100 instead. <laughs> And if anyone knows what I'm talking about there, thank you for showing up to the streams. I really appreciate it. We have fun over there. Oh, and uh, let's just do a shameless plug. I didn't do one of those in, like, uh, I think, all day. It's impl I can't believe it. I know. Impressive, right? But, uh, yeah, I launched a Discord server. It's great and cool, right? Discord. Wow, we Discord. There's a Discord, and there's people on the Discord. I'll link to the Discord's in my description. Also, yeah, I'm, I don't know if it came across this episode. I, I'll assume it did, because I don't really remember talking for the past uh, 30 minutes, but I am insanely tired. Like, over incredibly tired, uh, beyond a reasonable amount. So I apologize for that if it was very noticeable and like this episode I just wasn't talking well or something. I don't really remember about anything we've talked. I've kind of been half asleep doing this, which is, uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm surprised really that we even have lived this long just because of the fact that I am borderline asleep. Like, the second I can sleep, I will, but I have a few more videos to record. So... I'm thoroughly shocked that uh, I'm still here alive, potentially winning this run. It's it's really it's really impressive. I mean, I almost fell asleep like three times today. I don't know. Whenever I sleep in, I'm so much more tired than if I didn't sleep at all. Like, if I fall asleep at like six and then wake up eight hours later, which is, uh, let's do the math, uh, four to get to ten, four more to get to two. So I fall asleep at six and wake up at two, which is literally what happened last night, actually. I'm way more tired than if I fall asleep at like twelve and wake up at eight. Um, even though they're both eight hours of sleep, just the, the act of being awake late at night and then waking up the next day also just convinced, oh, just literally can't lose now. Oh uh, yeah, the act of being awake late at night and then waking up even no matter how much time has passed just waking up the next day it makes me so friggin tired that it's unbelievable and i hate it so much so yeah uh i woke up at like two no i think it was more of one i don't remember today's been a i barely remember today like, i have been borderline asleep for the entire day now thank you um so yeah i'm not if you were to ask anyone like how did today go just don't ask me because i'm not not a hundred percent certain. I just want to go to sleep. And after this, I'm gonna record an overly modded, and then another overly modded after that. Probably. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do. You know, like I'm definitely busy tonight. I also got some friends I gotta talk to because I I didn't realize till the middle of this episode. But like I I've, I've been having this problem with Snapchat recently where it's been logging me out, and I know that could mean there's someone else uh, in your account. I really don't think that's it um, because. I checked my Snapchat login lo like locations and there's nowhere weird and I changed my password. So I think it's just my Snapchat being weird. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, Snapchat's being weird. So it's been logging me out and I didn't notice till after this episode. So then I checked and people have been messaging me for a while and I didn't answer and now I feel bad. So now I gotta go. Turns out I have to actively babysit Snapchat, turns out, to make sure it's not trying to kill me. But whatever. Uh, let's not end it yet. We can go to Mega Satan and we might. Well, full clear chest. If we get one more good item, we're gonna go to Mega Satan. That's that's my uh, 
It's my official rule. One more good item and we'll try to go to Mega Satan. We have cracked orb, so taking damage can open doors, including Mega Satan door. So all we would have to do is bomb ourselves. We have a 7.18 rate of fire, Play-Doh cookie. Yum heart, that's an extra heart we could bring in there. That ain't bad. And oh, we should also probably just go here. Thank you. Kind of useless. Ooh, kind of really good. Uh, we won't touch it yet so we can get this free charge from over here. But finger bone, that's a 5% chance of taking, getting a bone heart when getting hit. Theoretically, that could just keep us alive infinitely if uh, we got like some insane luck. So we'll take it with us to the Mega Satan fight if we go. That's still a big if. Got a couple things you got to reroll to make sure. I doubt we'll ever get more than one item in a room, so we're just going to reroll uh, Yum Heart instead of taking it because it's just easier. <laughs> taking Yum Heart is more work than uh, taking Yum Heart is more work than rerolling it. I'll tell you that for free. Okay, hide. We're good. War still sucks. Always hate war. I hate war both uh, the mini boss and the big boss in the beast fight. I hate both those guys. And yeah, sorry we didn't go to beast today. I tried and then forgot, right? That's just how it works. And that's why I don't like the fight. Um, it's too easy. Like, just you forget to grab a card. You don't go. And that's the end of it. There's no winning. We didn't get anything that makes me want to go Mega Satan. Our health is only okay. Our run isn't broken. I mean, it's pretty damn good. We'll go. We... Mm, we have to take them. Well, we'll bomb once, and if this just opens it, then we'll go. Fuck you. Okay, no, I'm sorry. We're not going Mega Satan. Uh, I think we have Cracked Orb, unless I re-rolled it, which is also a huge possibility, which now makes me look stupid if I did. In fact, no, I did re-roll Cracked Orb, so all that was uh, actually for nothing. Which makes sense, because I probably went to this floor thinking there's no way we were going to do Mega Satan. But that's going to be it. We win another one. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to make it this far on the streak. Judas was definitely one I was scared about. Um, also, when the game crashed at the beginning of the video, I was extra scared because I was like, mm, ain't no way we, we recovered from this. There ain't no way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we made it, so that's good. Uh, next is Tanned Apollyon, who realistically should be basically a free win. Um, and after Tanned Apollyon, this is where it starts getting interesting because we have Blue Baby, who I'm really bad as. And then we have Tainted Keeper. And while Tainted Keeper isn't a bad character, um, he is really easy to die as. So the streak's getting spicy soon. I, I really recommend you uh, staying tuned in for more because it's going to be pretty wild. We got our... Oh, I love Eden, dude. I, I, I just... I really like this also mod I got going for the post notes. I haven't seen it before, but it's really good. Makes me happy. Anyway, not the post notes either. Those look, they were literally gone. I meant the uh, just general menu. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I will see you next time.